Hello my beautiful people, welcome to the first episode of our wedding series. I'm so excited. Today we're doing a bunch of planning and just starting to get organized. It's been about a month since we got engaged um, and we haven't done like a whole lot, but I have recently bought some things and I'm gonna start making a big to-do board list. So Alan actually went out and got me this giant cork board because I've been seeing all over on TikTok like the sticky note to-do list and I wanted to do something similar but like a little bit more interesting and different. So got a cork board and I'm thinking of doing like the to-do list on this. And then also just got a giant piece of poster board because I think I'm going to cut out and design kind of my own little square to-do list things. I just feel like having fun with this is going to be the best thing. So I got that. And then just some Sharpies and a big thing of clear push pins so that I can like stick them on the cork board. But when we got back from London, my mom actually had already got me a wedding planner and I think this one is so pretty. I had seen previously like a bunch on Pinterest and Instagram of like wedding planners or journal diary things. So I definitely knew I wanted some sort of physical one. So I'm excited to start going through this and using that. And then the last thing that I got recently was this little file folder because everyone says you have like a bunch of loose leaf papers, pamphlets, all that type of thing. And I just want to stay as organized as possible. So I just went out and picked up a little one of these. I'm thinking what I wanna do now is start going through and seeing if I can fill out some of the wedding planner, but then also put together my corkboard to-do list thing. So this is just what the wedding planner looks like. It honestly is so pretty, but it's got a giant pocket here for any other loose leaf papers, and then a bunch of different categories. So we have vision board, budgeting and planning, and then guest list, vendors, venues, and more, and then wedding day. So I don't know if this quite has everything that I need for planning, and then also another little pocket at the back but I think my mom kind of just got it because she's really excited and wanted me to have like a little keepsake thing as well and this one is really pretty very much me all the greenery and like white and gold so I definitely think it's really pretty and I'm excited to start going through this All right, so for the board, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it landscape orientation, have the like title wedding to-do list up here, then all the subcategories, and then maybe like a timeline slash how many months left up in the corner. Um, but I'm just trying to decide if I want to do like just a written like wedding to-do or if I wanna cut out like bubble letters that say wedding to-do. I feel like for now, I might just write it out and then I could change it later, but just to have it done and up there for now I think is the plan. Here is the finished board so far. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but I did a to do, to buy, to book, to DIY, and then a miscellaneous section, and then just have some of the to do's and things that need to get done so far, but I'm honestly obsessed. 
It has been another few weeks and we haven't really done anything else for wedding planning, but I just got in an exciting package. I had been looking for bridal magazines because my mom really wanted to get me one and they're just not really making bridal mags in print anymore. They're all like digital, but I found this company called The Together Journal that does these stunning real wedding print magazines. So they sent over their latest three editions and they are just beautiful. I'm so excited to go through them. I really just wanted a few print ones just to like flip through and get some inspiration. And these are so beautiful. So they were kind enough to send these over. So if there's any brides out there that are looking just for some inspiration and in print, and even as coffee table books later, like they are stunning. I would definitely recommend to check them out. But they also sent over their wedding planner because like the organized freak that I am, I needed a second wedding planner. This one definitely is more detailed and I think it has a lot of advice and things to help you plan along as well. So I thought we would do a little unboxing. But they're this small company based in New Zealand and I just think that their stuff is so beautiful and I love that everything is submission based and it's all real weddings, but Oh, this is so stunning, you guys. So this is the wedding planner that they sent over. So pretty. You can see it's got a lot more sections than the other one. I also love that it's in a really small like journal format, but I definitely think that this will help. Even as I'm just like flipping through right now, I think there's a lot of like keepsake and a lot of more detailed things in here that weren't in my other one. But the next thing that I want to get to is going through my old Pinterest board and making like a comprehensive overall vision board mood board to kind of show Alan my vision and what I'm thinking that I like for the wedding and see if he's aligned. I've had a Pinterest board going since I was probably about 17 or 18 of like what I thought I wanted my wedding to look like. So I definitely need to go through that and see if what I'm thinking is still aligned but also like kind of just like narrowing it down and putting something like together to give to Alan and be like, are you aligned with me? Do you like this? And are we like on the same page? And basically kind of just be able to show him overall what I'm thinking. Also not to overwhelm him because I feel like weddings in general, you can get so lost in all the details and so many different options. So kind of just having an overall be like, this is what I think, but it might change as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and go through my Pinterest boards and make like a overall mood board. I'm thinking I might do a physical board at some point, but right now I think I really just wanna keep it simple. I'm also like trying not to get overwhelmed. Like there's so many things all at once. Alan and I sat down the other day to just kind of go through a timeline because we're likely thinking 2025 is when we will actually get married of just kind of like when things need to start being done. And we're mainly doing a two year engagement just so we have time to not get stressed and overwhelmed. And I feel like it doesn't matter how long an engagement you will do, like things will catch up to you and you will some point feel stressed and overwhelmed. But I feel like just starting with a simple mood board, doing it digital so that I can like send it to vendors, send it to Alan easily, and we can just like easily look at it on a computer will be great. And then maybe do a keepsake smaller like physical one at some point but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and do my digital one just to kind of compile my thoughts and put it all into one picture in one place
I just finished up my overall little vision board, so let's chat through it. First up, definitely going with a very much outdoor, indoor, early summer vibe and theme. Loving all of the like white florals, very minimal, elegant, and I think really classic as well. I love just a very minimal color palette. And then I did some other like little details over here. So some ideas that I like for the seating and the tables and just the, like the place setting. And also I love a unique guest book. This one is a little record player, which I think would be really cute. And I think Alan would really like as well. Very minimal, simple, elegant wedding cake. Same with the seating chart. I also really want to do a champagne tower. And then I also love the signature cocktails. It's something that I think I really want to do. Again, lots of minimal, elegant whites and greens, I think is really the color palette we're going for. So you can see that down here with the bridesmaids dresses as well. I'm thinking either probably green or blue, something along those shades. And then this is just a little bit of dress inspo. I definitely want something pretty big and long and flowy, but teetering in between like sleeves and maybe off the shoulder or no sleeves. I'm not really 100% sure in terms of dress, but these were just some inspo pictures that I found and thought I really, really liked. So this is kind of my overall vision and I definitely want to define it a little bit more and put more of my vision into subcategories eventually, but I thought I'd sit down and do just a little overview for now. And this is kind of the overall vision to give you guys a feel and a vibe of what I think I'm going to be going for. We are going to end off this first wedding episode with a little wedding q and A. I I asked you guys to ask me any questions that you have just about the wedding and the process and kind of our thoughts and plans so far. But before we get into that, I quickly wanted to show you guys one more thing I recently have got because I've already started looking for like accessories for my engagement party, engagement shoot, and even like slowly looking at wedding stuff. But I got these beautiful diamond earrings from Eterna Diamonds. They are absolutely stunning. Eterna Diamonds is a diamond company that focuses on sustainable lab-grown diamonds. They focus in on timeless designs that have a little bit of modern flair while also providing the best quality diamonds while still remaining affordable. And every piece comes with the IGI papers. This is all the information for the diamonds of the piece that you pick. So they send all this through, but their affordability as well as top quality diamonds is really what sets them apart in the diamond industry. And I am in love with these little diamond drop earrings that I got. I am I'm so excited to style these in my bridal wardrobe, but a big thank you to Eterna Diamonds for sending these over. I will have all the links for you guys to check them out down in the description box below, but let's get into the Q&A. All right, you guys, get comfy, get cozy. I have all of your questions here. I'm gonna try and answer as many as possible without like spoiling too much because I also think I want like a lot of the wedding to be a surprise and like things kind of be revealed along the wedding series videos. But the first one that I think I have definitely been asked the most is, are Alan and I going to be living together now that we're engaged? And the answer is no, we are gonna be waiting until the wedding. Likely sometime around the wedding, we will start moving in together. We don't really have a for sure plan as to where we'll be living. Definitely in Toronto, just not sure if like we'll be staying in this place or if we'll be getting a full new place together. But regardless of where we live, if we're staying here, we likely will do like renovations and really change up the space so that it feels like ours because that's something that I think was really important to both of us is that right now, if we were to live together in my home, it feels like my home. I've been here for over a year and so we want something that really feels like ours when we move in together. But yeah, long answer short, we are waiting until around the wedding to move in together. There's also a few other reasons, just like Alan still has a lease on his place and like it just doesn't make sense for us. So we will be waiting. I think the next most asked question that I have had is, do you guys have a date for the wedding yet? And no, we don't. We have a general idea of 
what time of year and what year the wedding will be but i'm definitely keeping that a surprise for you guys to keep you on your toes a little bit um we have slowly started looking at venues and like i said we have like a general time of year that we're thinking but our date is definitely highly determined by the venue that we choose and what dates they still have available so we're pretty open and flexible and aren't like a this is the day we have to get married and it's whatever venue has that day available we're more so looking for like the venue that we love and then building our day around that a lot of people also asked if we're going to get married in the city in ontario or do a destination wedding and we are definitely planning to get married in ontario we're not like keeping our venues super strict to like gta but like gta would be nice because that's where most of our family is based so like while we are looking somewhat a little bit outside of gta as well i feel like we'll probably land on something that's definitely closer to home just for like ease of access of everybody that will be attending the wedding which leads me to the next question of lots of you asked are you having an intimate wedding or a big wedding and i feel like we're having kind of an average fair-sized wedding our guest list is kind of looking like probably around 150 to 170 so i feel like teetering towards the bigger size wedding but at the same time like we haven't really refined our guest list and that's just kind of like a rough idea right now we had toyed with the idea of a destination wedding, but I think that for me, my dream was always to get married somewhere close to home and like in Ontario and also just with having older family members, not being able to really travel that much, having a destination wedding would be really hard. And I also think that it's unfair to those who may not be able to afford like traveling for the destination wedding. So that is another reason why we're just probably going to stay pretty close to home. Someone asked how many bridesmaids and groomsmen are you going to have? I think we are likely going to be somewhere in between the four to six range, both for groomsmen and bridesmaids. That's kind of what we had talked about before even getting engaged. Just we both have kind of like a rough idea of who we're going to ask. So that's kind of the numbers we're working with right now. Someone asked about wedding theme. As you can tell from my little Pinterest inspo, very classic, elegant, also a little bit minimal, lots of greens, whites, golds. That is currently the idea and plan. So very neutral as well. Um, someone asked if it's going to be an indoor or outdoor wedding. We're looking at venues that have both an indoor and outdoor space. I think we both really like outdoor better, but we're open to both. Someone asked about untraditional things that you may do at your wedding and there's a few that I've been seeing on TikTok that I really like but nothing for sure yet. One that I do really like is having the brides and grooms family sit on opposite sides so that you can see their faces and their reactions because classically the families sit on the same sides that the groom and the bride is so if like groom is on this side, groom's family, bride is on this side, bride's family. But I think it would be a great idea to have them switched so that like our both our families can see our reactions. And then I've also seen switching the bridesmaids and groomsmen as well so that they can also see your reactions. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't think we'll do that, but possibly the families is definitely one. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna do a first look, but something I wanna do if we don't do a first look um is do a first touch so just like around kind of a doorway or a corner like hold hands for a second kind of be able to talk to each other before the big moment i also am just unsure about a first look because it's definitely something newer that's come up recently and i kind of want him to be surprised when i first walk down the aisle and he's seeing me for the first time that day i think that that would also just be so magical and that's kind of what i'm leaning towards but it also is going to depend on timeline of the venue that we choose someone asked me if i'm planning to find my dress in canada or to fly to a different country and canada would be ideal just because everything is really close and could be done in-house like gta toronto would be ideal but at the same time i'm one of those girls that i'm like i've been dreaming about my dress for forever so if i can't find what i want in ontario i'm definitely willing to go elsewhere i kind of want to go to new york and look i know new york is pretty close and like that would just be an easy place to go to to go look for a dress and pretty accessible as well so that might be an option and then i also got asked lots about like what type of dress i'm thinking and i'm going to keep that a surprise you guys can feel free to guess what you think i'll end up wearing but i definitely have an idea and a vision of kind of exactly what i want but i'm also thinking of having two dresses 
not too sure yet, so we'll see. And then the last question that I'm going to answer today is kind of wedding related, but also not really. Someone asked, do you feel that you're too young or that you're going to be missing out because you're getting married so young? And to this I say no, because I've been with Alan for so long that I'm just excited and looking forward to starting my life with him. We're both also not the type of people that like go out and party or just go out a lot. And we really are, I feel like homebodies and also are like old souls at heart and very mature and I also don't think that getting married is really going to stop us from say like hanging out with our friends we definitely have an amazing group of friends some of which are already married so I think it'll change our lives a little bit in the sense that we will definitely be together a lot more and doing things together a lot more than we're used to but I think it's really good and also we likely are not getting married for another two years I think we're looking at 2025 so by the time we get married we'll be over 24 so I think that that's kind of enough time for us to have experienced our solo young adult lives and we always talked about getting married young so I don't really think for us that it's something that ever was a consideration if we're going to be missing out on life because we've always wanted to have a life together. So yeah, that's kind of all my answers for the little Q&A today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this first wedding series episode. I'm so excited for the other ones that are going to be coming. This one was kind of just like an intro, giving you guys like a little taste of some planning and kind of an overview of what we're thinking. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. Yeah.